my dear friends welcome to rajshekar classes on applied data science with python this is lecture number 619 in this lecture i will continue my discussion on vgg net before understanding this lecture i request all of you to go through my previous lecture that is lecture number 618 just see what is the input image the vgg net takes an input uh, an uh, an image input size is 224 by 224 by 3 isn't it this this is the input image size yes isn't it that's what uh, we were discussing just try to recall what we discussed in our previous lecture actually why we are saying it is vgg uh, 16 it supports 16 layers is also uh, it is developed by jisserman we were discussing about jisserman isn't it uh, it has got accuracy of 92.7 and all uh, it it classify images into 1000 categories there are 1000 classes of images isn't it it is uh, you uh, uh, it is significantly outperforms alexnet by substituting several 3 by 3 kernel size filters all these things we discussed just try to recall and in this particular lecture just see here what you have first let us understand this particular uh, architecture i really like this uh, uh, representation that has been provided here very very simple now if you wanted to look at just see what what is what do we have here we have i, I have convolution layer 1 i have convolution layer 2 i have max pooling then convolution layer then convolution layer then max pooling just see I, i i i really like this i really like this representation that has been provided here very very simple now if you want to look at the code for this vgg 16 implemented as a as a part of keras as a part of uh, uh, keras just see the uh, code I, i will provide you link for this python code in keras there is actually folder called in keras source code there is there is a folder called there is a folder called application just if you check in keras you, you can find a folder called applications just refer this one if possible there is folder called applications where all the code application Uh, like all the very very good models like vgg 16 we will see some some more models later all these are really really good models have been implemented natively in keras by the keras developers you can see all those things in that particular folder applications unfortunately i could not find the native implementation in applications for alexnet but vgg 6 we have implementation for vgg 16 i would say i i would say is is significantly simpler i would say vgg 16 is significantly simpler form of alexnet that's what uh, we were discussing is it isn't it it has all the advantages of alexnet actually it provides but it pro, it performs better than alexnet for the most tasks this is this is pre implemented pre implemented if somebody built keras keras implementation the quality of the code is very very good and look at the code here it is very very simple what it says the first block the first block as you have a convolutional same padding you have activation activations as relu 64 such kernels 3 by 3 kernels and you, your second one is again con 2d 64 kernels 3 by 3 3 by 3 kernels relu activation same padding by default stride is one so if stride stride is one means what stride equal to 1 comma 1 pooling after that just see you can see the max pooling after that this is uh, this is block one in similar manner in similar manner you can see the block block two there are so there are so many blocks block one block two block three block four like that isn't it anyway anyway we will see that other blocks just just let me go to just let me go to that uh, github code so that so that one can understand just 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 let me show me that particular github code just see this is the github code anyway i will provide this link just see the, how neatly they implemented just see this implementation just a minute yes this is block 1 which we were discussing this is block 1 isn't it what is my block 2 block 2 is just observe what is block 2 block 2 is con 2d con 2d convolution convolution and what we were saying max pooling what is my block 3 
by block 3 is convolution, 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 max pooling. What is my block 4? My block 4 is what it says again convolution, convolution. How many convolutions are there? 3 convolution, 1 max pooling. Block 5. Convolution, convolution, max pooling, isn't it? Uh, actually, just just you can see after all of that, you, you you can flatten it. Just see, you are flattening it here. Just let me show me the code. Just see, after I already discussed what is flattening, isn't it? Dense. I already discussed about dense, or if you wanted to add some average pooling. Just see here, I have code for average if pooling equal to average is it, isn't it uh, something like uh, you know, you can also add if you want to uh, if you want to add some average pooling at the end you can also add that the architecture is very very simple by just looking at by just looking at the code the beauty of the keras this is very simple code the beauty of the keras which i'm uh, which i'm repeating myself again is if somebody gives you this architecture which architecture let me show this architecture if somebody gives me this particular architecture this architecture yes if somebody gives you this architecture or this diagram from this diagram you can type you can type your code in keras literally in 10 minutes and then you can compile it Th thankfully what you get in keras is very very good in keras somebody implemented people who built who built who built uh, keras actually they implemented vgg16 and they also trained vgg16 on imagenet data set so you actually get a trained vgg16 model with all the weights they have all the weights they have taken the imagenet data set on the vgg uh, uh, onto the vgg uh, network and they have trained the model so you can actually get model where the weights filled in if you want to, to reuse the model this model is readily available this model is ready uh, readily available readily available in, in keras we will see later in this chapter how to reuse these models which are which are already pre-existing in the keras which are already been trained on imagenet data set isn't it that that's the fun that's the fun of it we get we get the pre-trained we get the pre-trained vgg 16 in inbuilt into the keras somebody spent the time and compute resources to train the whole imagenet data set and give us all the weights all the all, all the kernels everything for you we, we you can simply reuse it you are vgg 16 trained model you have, you have ugg 16 trained model let let me call let let me call it as trained model now if if i input a new image which is of size 24 into 24 into 3 it will tell me what class distribution falls it isn't it real it's readily available for me i don't even have to train it a trained model is available for me that's the that's the fun of keras isn't it it is it is also it is also available in tensorflow by the way i request all of you to go through this lecture if you have any issue Please keep a comment. Thank you very much.